In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys makeup techniques that you should definitely try. Some of these techniques are really helpful, especially if you struggle in certain aspects of makeup application. So go ahead and grab your makeup and let's get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my under eye area because we're going in with a baking technique and I tend to have really dry under eyes. So going in with the Strivecting Multi Action Super C Eye Serum. This is a lightweight serum. It's supposed to hydrate your under eyes. It's perfect if you have dry under eyes and you find setting powder to be really dry under your eyes. I would recommend using an eye serum. So I'd recommend using an applicator to blend that eye cream out. I like using this one because it's very cooling and and it helps to keep your under eyes plump. So the first makeup technique is to mix two primers together. One primer that is going to help hydrate my skin, and then another primer that's going to help the makeup last longer on my skin. If you haven't tried that, I would highly recommend it. If you have oily skin, I would say go in with a moisturizer as your first primer, and then your second primer to be a pore filling primer. That is going to allow less oils to peek through your pores, and it's also gonna give you a really nice matte finish. It works differently for different skin types. I have dry skin so I'm gonna go in with the Laneige Hydro UV Defense SPF. So because this is an SPF as well, I like to make sure that I'm going in with a significant amount. This SPF is really great for dry and combination skin because it helps to seal a lot of moisture to your skin. At the same time, it doesn't leave a white cast on your skin, which I love. And then next I'm gonna go in with the Milani Rose Primer. So this is supposed to prep and hydrate your makeup. It is a lightweight base so it's not as thick as the Laneige so I like to pair these two up together just to get one that seals in a lot of moisture and then get another one that's lightweight that helps to protect my skin now this one by Milani does leave a little bit of a white cast which is why I prefer always using it with makeup but one thing about it is the white cast just disappears right after you apply your foundation sometimes when I'm applying foundation it tends to be a little patchy now that is very very dependent on the types of products I've used before the foundation. So one technique that I've been loving is applying foundation with my fingers. This is going to help you avoid the patchiness. So first things first, you wanna get a foundation that matches your skin tone perfectly. The foundation that I'm using is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation in the shade 4N62. This foundation is a perfect match for my skin. And I like using foundations that match my skin almost perfectly because it gives me more of a skin like finish so I just go in with one and a half pumps and then I just dot the foundation where I want to focus majority of the coverage and you can just use your finger and blend it out and as you can see it's giving me more of a skin like blend and then I like to just kind of dash it towards the outer part bringing it in a little bit towards the inner part then I like to go in with a damp beauty sponge and just press that onto my skin as you can see that has given me more of that skin like like finish without any patchiness on the skin. Now the key to applying foundation with your fingers is not rub it too hard to the point where you're moving so much of that primer. You want to just blend it really softly onto your skin, kind of like you're just trying to place it right on top of that primer and just blend it out. For people who struggle with patchy foundation or just foundation that tends to rub together with your primer, giving you an uneven blend, this technique is perfect for that and as you can see it gives a really nice natural finish it literally looks like my skin but evened out now you can go in with extra wherever you need it the most so if you have discoloration around this area you can build it up this also allows you to use less foundation as you can see there's barely any product on this beauty sponge because I applied majority of the product using my hands and there's no product left so next is a contour hack this hack is supposed to make your face look less rounder a little bit more square so starting off you want to use a contour that is very close to your skin but a little bit darker and you want to focus on using a cool tone contour you want to start off from your hairline and drag it downwards towards where your cheeks are typically how I would contour but I stop my contour right here because I have a square face shape. If you have a round face shape, then you definitely wanna drag your contour all the way out towards your cheeks. Then I like to draw a second leg, and by second leg, I mean like drag the contour downwards like that. This is going to help give me more of that square face shape, and it's going to help snatch my jawline a little bit more. So the next, I like to just take a contour brush in circular movement 
motion just blend out that contour you can also pat it on your skin like this and then just bring this contour downwards as well so with contour I like blending it upwards just because this helps to lift the face and as you can see you can see a little bit of the shadows coming down my jawline then I'm gonna go ahead and apply concealer around this area for concealer I'm gonna go in with the TLB quick conceal in the shade cinnamon this concealer technique is really good if you number one have dry under eyes or you're somebody who struggles with a lot of creasing under your eyes so I got the technique from painted by Spencer on TikTok. so it's called the blend set bake technique first you want to start off with a lightweight concealer and I like to place that concealer closer towards the inner corner of my eye because the main reason why I like to use concealer is to cover up discoloration under my eyes and I tend to have discoloration right here if you have discoloration around this area you can also apply concealer there as well but I'm gonna mix this hack with the under eye blush hack so this hack is so good if you want a really nice seamless blush look so going in with the Milani cheek kiss liquid blush this is in the shade 160 berry smooch so taking a few drops of that blush on a brush I'm gonna place that blush right where the spacing between the concealer is I'm gonna go in with a beauty sponge and blend it out and I'm starting from the inner corners of my eye and blending it towards the outer corner as you can see you can barely see that blush right under my eye I diffuse a blush around this corner right here so when I place my blush it's all going to look blended once I've blended out my concealer I like to go in with a little bit more of that blush and place it right where I would place that blush blush also towards where I applied the blush with the concealer and just in circular motion going all around my cheekbone area so this blush hack is gonna give you a really nice flush of color but it's gonna look really seamless so it doesn't really look like the blush is only placed around this area it marries perfectly with the concealer so you don't see any harsh lines so we're not done with the blend set bake hack but I'm gonna move on to nose contour because for nose contour I'm using a cream contour so I want to do this before I apply setting powder so going in with the same contour that I use and with this nose contour hack I've been liking it because it's given me more of a natural contour it's not changing the shape of my nose it's just bringing back structure that I already had but lost because of the foundation and the concealer so with this hack I like to place the contour right where the bridge of my nose is and you want to use a flat brush to apply this and then I like to drag the tail out then taking a little bit of this I like to bring it in kind of creating a V around right at the tip of my nose then going in with concealer you want to place the concealer right at the bridge of your nose bringing it downwards and then creating another V at the tip of your nose then I like to place a little bit of concealer here and right there now I know this might seem a little bit complicated if you're somebody who's comfortable with just contouring your nose the way you usually do go ahead and do that but this is just going to contour my nose based on the shape of my nose so I'm gonna go in and blend out that contour I like to start with the concealer side first and then using that concealer product I'm just gonna go over that contour and so this is what the nose contour looks like it just brings back that structure that was a loss back to my nose before applying setting powder I'm gonna go in with the sponge that I use for the concealer and I'm just gonna curve out this contour this is what you call reverse contour and I like to do this all the time because it gives me more of a natural contoured look so the next part of the blend set bake technique is the set so to do that you want to take your favorite translucent powder I like using a fluffy brush dusting off the excess for the powder because you're supposed to use the lightest amount of setting powder and then after that I also still like to take some powder at the back of my hand to dust off the excess and then just go in with the lightest amount of powder to set the concealer this is going to help prevent the concealer from moving it's gonna help absorb the excess oils it's gonna help prevent the concealer from moving before you go in and bake so next you want to go in with the baking technique and to do that I like to use a powder puff because it just helps to give you more coverage with the powder so I take the powder puff directly onto the powder then I like to remove the excess powder at the back of my hand just so that it doesn't clump up and then immediately you want to go in and bake under your eyes 
Now, I'm typically somebody who doesn't bake because it makes my under eyes really dry, which is the reason why I absolutely love this technique. It also prevents the under eye concealer from creasing and moving around my skin a lot. So once that sets for about one minute, I like to dust it off. But with this technique, I don't feel like my under eyes are dry at all. I just feel like it gives me more of that smooth finish under my eyes without it feeling uncomfortable. And as you can see, that gives me a really nice under eye look. You don't see any creasing under my eyes. At the same time, it really helps to blend out the blush together with my under eyes. So I went ahead and did my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of blush. I'm using the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blush in the shade Prima Donna. And I usually like adding a little bit more blush. This is optional. I like a little bit more color to my skin. So I'm just placing it right on my cheekbones and blending it out. So I clearly forgot how pigmented this blush is so I went in with a lot. So if you're gonna use this blush I would highly recommend using a very small amount because it's highly pigmented. So for lips we're gonna do a technique where we're gonna create an ombre effect but we're gonna use two liquid lipsticks. So you want to select two of your favorite liquid lipstick. Just make sure one is darker than the other one. So I'm using the Fenty Icon Velvet Lipsticks because these are so rich and pigmented. I'm using the shade The Real MVP and the brown shade is Red Wind. The real MVP is just like a really bright red shade. I'm gonna mix these together. I've seen this all over Instagram. So first you want to start off with the darker shade. This is going to be your lip liner. So using this brown shade, I'm gonna line my whole whole lip and kind of leave a little bit of space in the center for the red shade. Then you want to use the brighter color. So I'm going to use this shade, the real MVP and place it right at the center. And you want to just mend these two shades together. And I love this technique also because you can use so many other colors. Like you can use a purple and a pink together and it's going to give you that really nice ombre effect. If you enjoyed this video, then definitely watch my previous video right here. So in this video, I show you guys makeup hacks that are so helpful in makeup application. K -L -J. Welcome to a channel where it's